Hey guys, it's Kevin from Hale Graphics. Today I'm working on a Cobra Kai drawing. I just finished watching Cobra Kai Season 3 on Netflix. If you haven't checked it out and you have Netflix, I definitely recommend it. It's a great series to watch. So I'm drawing two main characters from the show, uh, Miguel and Hawk. And I'm not trying to draw them literally how they look in the show. I'm just kind of doing almost like a stylized comic version. I'm going to be sticking to three different colors for this design and right now the main thing I want to do is just get out uh, some line art and kind of a sketch of the poses the two characters are going to have kind of standing back to back. I've got the line art for Miguel all done, and now I'm doing Hawk. He's got these, uh, he's got this pretty elaborate mohawk. So what I'm doing right now is now that I have the line art, I'm creating a silhouette that'll uh, fill in basically the whole picture with black. And I'm just keeping that as an extra layer in case I want to pop them in front of some colored background. I'll probably end up leaving this completely black. So in the silhouette, it kind of looks like a, or they kind of look like a two-headed monster. I'm just going to hide that for now and move on to coloring. And you'll notice with the line art, it's just barely not black. So I have a guide while I'm doing all the lighting. But the goal in the end is to either turn some of the lines red or completely remove them. When I first started coloring, I realized the yellow I was going to use, I wasn't going to have it actually light their skin. I was going to keep it to a red, so you'll see me change that. Basically, the goal here is to create a hard light source coming in from the right and then just having solid black shadows. And I'm just kind of going along once I've got some color on there, fine tuning the lines in any areas I want to highlight. Ears kind of stick out so they'll be catching a bunch of the light, but a lot of his jaw and other, the back of his arms will just be completely black. And do some, kind of some short line cross hatching for the hair. already when you're looking at Hawk it's pretty intense I gotta do the same thing for Miguel, try to catch a similar lighting. Sometimes for this, since you know I don't have a good reference photo for Miguel, it's kind of trial and error, and I'll keep modifying the light as I go until it looks the way I want. I don't have a clear plan for that. So you'll see me add and erase bits. I'm gonna skip ahead here in a moment because I end up doing a lot of back and forth. See, here's an example now where I use the silhouette that I created earlier in the background so that I can have a colored background. I'm just using a red gradient here. But in the end, I'll probably decide that I'm not going to keep the red background and just go back to black. I like the impact of that better. So I'll just keep hatching until I get the shadows the way I want. I end up 
adding some and then again deleting some of them if it looks starts to look too muddy or messy. I want to keep this design fairly simple. As and as I'm adding crosshatch, I'm doing a mixture of adding black lines and then adding red lines to certain areas until I get the shaded look that I like. I also went and downloaded the Cobra Kai logo. So, you know, I didn't hand draw that myself. I just downloaded it and cut it to insert on Hawk's back. I'm basically just keeping this three colors, well, red, yellow, kind of a golden yellow, and then black. Black isn't technically a color, but we're not going to worry about that. simplifying Miguel's hair a bit more. If you notice at this end part, I added just ever so slight highlights of yellow on their skin. So let me know what you think. How'd I do? Do you watch Cobra Kai? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I will be back next week with some more Fortnite artwork. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. <laughs>